So the way I met Tony is through the systems that we have set up where we can find motivated sellers, distressed properties, um, tax liens, uh, pre-foreclosure. So I was able to see his properties on the pre-foreclosure list. Um, and so I reached out to him, sent him a text message and a phone call, and I let him know that I was interested in buying his house and wanted to see if he had any motivation to sell. I do remember the conversation. There was a text message, and then you responded back to me and said, yeah, I'm willing to sell um, all my properties. Yeah. Because I reached out to you for one I want to get rid of them. <laughs> so that's when I called him on the phone, and we had the conversation, um, introduced myself, and um, I asked, you know, can we meet up so that we can meet face-to-face -face so I can show you that I'm a real person because that's the thing. You get a lot of people that yeah. do this and you don't know who's real. The solution is, uh, how can I help you? How can I not make this a problem for you? And for him, he's going to sell me the property at a discounted price. Right. Where and I, I told him, you talk to the bank and you do all the work and the property's yours. We're in this business to help people. We're in this business to have relationships. Real estate is just a product or service. So I, I feel I want to you know, put out there for everyone that's going to be tuning in to understand that relationships are going to uh, you know, last beyond the actual property, whether because you may sell it, you may not. Ultimately, it was a win-win situation for both of us, and I want everybody to understand that if you do business the right way and you follow the steps the right way, you can be successful in this business long term.